No, I never cheat uh, in my life, and not only uh, in chess, but uh, especially in chess, I never played any uh, prearranged tournaments or anything. No. In this video, we are going to be talking about Toilet Gate. Yes, Toilet Gate, the biggest scandal in chess history. Before I go into the details of the scandal, let's take a look at all the events leading up to the scandal. All the way back in 1993, Garry Kasparov split from FIDE and formed his own organization. This meant that there were now two different world chess champions. One world champion was FIDE's official world champion. This one kept changing regularly because of the knockout tournament system and the other was the classical world champion which was none other than Garry Kasparov himself. Now let's just forget about FIDE's official world champion for a second and focus on the classical world champion. Until 2000, Garry Kasparov was the classical world champion when he was defeated by Vladimir Kramnik in a match. Five years later, in 2005, Veselin Topalov became FIDE's official world chess champion. In 2006, a match was arranged between the classical world champion Vladimir Kramnik and the FIDE official world champion Veselin Topalov and the winner of this match would be the undisputed world chess champion. So to summarize that up, you have the classical world champion and you have the FIDE world champion and to unify the two, you have the 2006 world chess championship. So what actually happened in this 2006 world championship match that ensured that the players would not shake each other's hands for many years to come? Games 1 and 2 were won by Vladimir Kramnik. Jeez, Topalov must have been upset. Game 3 and 4 ended in a draw and Game 5, well surprisingly, Kramnik decided to forfeit Game 5. Why would you forfeit a game when you're winning the match? Well, Topalov's manager Silvio Danilo complained that Kramnik's repeated visits to the bathroom of all places were suspicious Let's take a fair look at both sides of the argument. Topalov's team claimed that Kramnik frequented the bathroom way too often and a cable was found in one of the two bathrooms. However, Kramnik's team said that Kramnik drank a lot of water during the match and nonetheless, he should be allowed to use the restroom as he wishes. I would like uh, Mr. Danailov to explain and how it's possible to make use of this cable, even if it's there. First of all, as far as I understand, it was hidden uh, behind the ceiling. So it means that I, Otapalov, would have to, you know, to, to, to come with a special device and to make a hole in the ceiling before each move. How can you use it? So you need to bring a computer somehow. Absolutely unclear how. Silvio Danilov later issued a press release labeled Coincidence Statistics where he showed that 78% of Kramnik's moves matched the moves of the engine Fritz 9. Again, this is hardly conclusive evidence. Moreover, if we are to consider just Fritz and especially specifically Fritz 9, then you'll notice that in 2005, the FIDE World Championship, Topalo's accuracy was much higher than Kramnik's 78%. Nonetheless, Kramnik went on to win the match in tiebreaks. The general support was for Kramnik. Yeah, it was an infuriating charge with absolutely no evidence. It, but it did what Sylvia wanted, which was just threw up the match into chaos. In general, there was a lot of support for Kramnik. Former world champion Anatoly Karpov and former world champion Boris Spassky both came out and voiced their support for Kramnik. What do I think about all of this? Basically, I'm not in a good enough position to make an informed comment about this. Guys, when this match was played, I was in the beautiful phase of life where you sleep, you cry, you eat and you go back to sleep again. I was hardly old enough to think and I could definitely not have spelled the word chess. All the information that I have seen on this event has come naturally from the internet. However, based on the limited information that I have been exposed to, I tend to agree with the general masses of the chess world that there is no concrete evidence which proves that Kramnik cheated in this match. You guys can leave your comments down below on what you think happened. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon for more chess.